So hi students, my name is Panindra and in this video I am going to explain about gas chromatography. So we know that chromatography is a technique where we are going to separate molecules from a compound and that compound is nothing but the sample which you are going to select. And there are many types of chromatography techniques. Among them, gas chromatography is one. And in this video I am going to explain about gas chromatography. Gas chromatography is useful to separate volatile compounds. So you know about volatile compounds, right? Volatile compounds are something like they will be high, they will be having like you know uh, high vapor pressure uh, when they are at room temperature. So as they have high vapor pressure, it can easily correlate with the low boiling point. So these are something like called as volatile compounds. So this gas chromatography technique is useful to separate these volatile compounds and let us discuss about the apparatus and the process which we have to do uh, for this gas chromatography okay so firstly we have to uh, understand the column which we have to take and here the column which you are going to take is like simply uh, you know coil it should be like a coil like structure okay so the co uh, the column should be coil like structure and generally they will be having two columns two types of columns which will be used in gas chromatography technique they are packed column and capillary column so here you can see uh, the in the case of packed column it is it should be made up of a glass and in the case of capillary column it will be made up of fused quartz and the length should be 1 to 3 meters and here in the capillary column the length should be 20 to 120 meters and internal diameter for packed column should be 2 to 4 millimeters in the case of capillary column it should be something around 0 0.1 to 1 millimeters so this is just about the column so we know that in the chromatography techniques there will be two phases right stationary phase and mobile phase and the same thing which i have explained you in uh, paper chromatography also so in the case of a stationary phase here this is a column right so like just assume this as a zoom part of this coil of the column i mean okay so uh, let us assume this is the thing like okay, you know so here in the uh, in the border or to the surface inner surface the of the, uh, the there is a presence of the stationary phase and the stationary phase should be made up of silicon grease or wax okay so uh, by looking at this picture you can clearly understand what and where the stationary phase is present and it should be made up of silicon grease or wax okay well this is about the stationary phase so what uh, is the mobile phase so generally mobile phase uh, you are going to use the gas and uh, generally the gas which you are going to use is helium and nitrogen and you will be taking a sample right like in order to separate uh, the molecules from a, a particular uh, co volatile compounds which you are going to select as a sample uh, they should be properly mixed with the uh, you know with the volatile compounds like heptane acetone and methanol so that will lead to the proper uh, separation of the molecules and uh, that will also lead to a proper process of the gra gas chromatography technique so generally uh, this is a, a stationary phase mobile phase and the sample which you are going to uh, take in order to perform the process of gas chromatography technique so let me uh, clearly explain to you about the apparatus so as you can see here so firstly there will be a cylinder and in this cylinder there will be the presence of mobile phase so as i have already told you mobile phase in the sense the gas which you are going to take they are helium or nitrogen okay so now uh, once uh, if you are going to pass on this gas it reaches to the molecular sieve now what is meant by this molecular sieve this molecular sieve will help to uh, remove unwanted water vapor hydrocarbons and oxygen which is present uh, in the gas okay so now that particular gas will move to the septum septum is something like where you are going to inject the sample which you are going to select in order to separate the molecules which are present in the sample so that selected sample will be injected into the septum but make sure that uh, the septum, uh, the temperature of the septum should be less when compared to that of column. Okay, so it should be something around 20 to 40 degrees Celsius, and the column should be something around 15 degrees Celsius at the initial phase. Okay, because once the process is going on, the column temperature will be very high. 
why how the how the uh, column temperature gets increased because this column is present in a chamber we are going to place this column in a chamber and the temperature of this chamber will be very high that will be something around 300 degrees celsius okay so in the initial process make sure that the temperature of the septum should be less when compared to that of column but once the process is going on the temperature of the column will be gradually increased fine so now uh, the sample which you are going to select uh, will be mixed along with the gas which you are going to uh, you know pass on from the molecular sieve and that will finally enter into this column and now the process of separation occurs so how the process of separation occurs let me explain you clearly now let's assume this is the zoom part of the column okay so as i have already told you this will be the stationary phase which is made up of silicon grease or wax which i have already told you and next is the mobile phase as i have already told you mobile phase is something like uh, where you are going to pass that gas called helium and nitrogen from the cylinder and then you will be uh, you know uh, you will be sending the sample from the septum so once the process is going on i told you that the temperature of the column will be gradually increased so let us consider uh, this green color uh, squared structures are nothing but less volatile molecules and this blue color indicates more volatile molecules so here you can clearly understand that this less volatile molecules will pass on from the stationary phase whereas in the case of more volatile compounds uh, they will just easily pass on this mobile phase so the mobile phase in the sense the gas which is present inside the column is something called as mobile phase okay so this more volatile compounds can move very quickly when compared to that of less volatile molecules so this is something which is very very important to remember right so that's the reason i have uh, separately drawn this picture and um, make you people to clearly understand about the process so here is the where the process of the separation of less volatile molecules and more volatile i mean uh, more volatile molecules happens and now that particular molecules will get passed on over here and that will be detected by a detector okay so here what kind of detector you are going to use fid so what is fid flame ionization detector so here why you are going to use only flame ionization detector let us understand it clearly so let me again explain you clearly in this way but uh, here firstly you have to understand that there will be three inlets for detector that is flame ionization detector so one of the inlet is something like where the separated molecules like less volatile molecules and more volatile molecules will be passed on from the column and another inlet is uh, where the hydrogen gas will get passed on and another inlet the third inlet is something where the oxygen gas will be passed on and these are the three inlets one two and three these are the three inlets which will be connected to a detector and here the detector which are going to use is flame ionization detector so why are you going to use flame ionization detector let me explain you clearly so i have told you right uh, there will be three inlets right this is the first inlet second inlet and third inlet so due to the combination of these three inlets once the more volatile molecules will get passed on that leads to the production of a flame so that flame uh, once uh, the molecules will get interacted to this particular flame that leads to the ionization process which means the electrons will get separated we know that we should uh, install the positive electrode as well as the negative electrode right and that should be connected to an amplifier and now that amplifier should be connected to a computer system so here detector in the sense uh, the apparatus of amplifier where uh, the particular flame uh, i mean uh, anode and cathode will get connected out and next that should be connected to a computer system where you can analyze the graphical representations which will be automatically generated by the electrons where uh, which is passed on by that particular flame once the ionization process has been done right so here you can analyze the process in the computer system so generally this is a process of gas chromatography technique i hope i am clear from my end and if you still have any doubts please go ahead to comment the your, your doubts in the comment section i am going to clarify your doubts immediately so if you like this video subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates thank you